go ahead and walk us through the demo. Okay, so what we have here is our C-Wave product, which connects to our scanning receiver solution. And what I actually have here is an antenna that is connected to our uh, scanner. And we actually mounted the display right onto the antenna, which allows ergonomic use of the uh, antenna, as opposed to other solutions which have to hang around your neck. So what I have here on the screen is a spectrum analysis. And what I'm actually zooming in on here is I have a uh, cellular signal right here. But on the left-hand side here, you see an interferer that pops up every now and then. So what I really want to do is we want to focus in on that. Uh, but it is intermittent, so what we have is we have a waterfall diagram here on the bottom, which allows you to look at when you have an intermittent signal rising to a higher level, which is indicated by a color change. So uh, consequently, what this allows you to do, it just allows the operator who already has scanning receivers to hook an antenna up and do interference hunting with our solution. Uh, in addition to that, uh, you're right, there is, uh, there's a compass here, which we're in building right now, so we don't have any uh, uh, good compass readings. But on the right-hand side, you can see that there's a, a compass here that allows you to uh, indicate the direction of where the interferer is coming. And once you take three points, you can triangulate where that interferer is, and it'll automatically pinpoint the location of where that interferer is located. And in addition to that, we also have uh, up here on the upper right-hand side is screen control, which allows you to uh, adjust whether you want to have a full screen for a spectrum analysis, you want to have a full screen for the waterfall diagram, or, uh, or whether or not you want to run two separate scans at the same time. So, so the way the uh, operator normally uh, would use this is they would go deploy an engineer in the field who wants to do some interference hunting. And he'd go to different locations uh, around where that interferer is, and he'd point his antenna in different directions until he has a maximum signal. Once he sees that maximum signal, there's a button that he pushes on the handle, and that handle will allow you to save that data point, that bearing of where it is, which is right here. And once you have multiple locations, you can then uh, decide whether you want to triangulate in order to determine where that uh, interferer is located.